Okay, so it's been a while since I made a video, and I thought now would be a good time to talk about this thing that I'm doing at the moment, craft-wise, which is called 5D Diamond Painting, and it's a cross almost between cross-stitch and paint by numbers. And it comes in a kit, so this is one that I've completed. As you can see, the beads are all in place. There's quite a lot of black in this one, which took quite some time, but it was worth it because I think the final product is really nice. So, just move that one aside and you can see that I've got one here that I haven't completed yet. And this is what it comes through the post looking like, rolled up like that with your beads and all the other stuff that you need as well. So you get bags of beads and the numbers on the packet correspond with the numbers in the guide here on the left. So this would be number three, so number three, and then you can see the symbol that you're looking for and then obviously it's just a case of finding sections in that particular one. Uh, it also comes with a tray, which as you can see I've got some beads in it because I had to record this video for the second time. Um, and it comes with this pen, which also you get this sticky stuff and you can see I poked a hole in it already. Um, so it's just a case of peeling back the plastic. And some people tend to, I've seen, scratch this so you, you get a little bit of glue on the tip. But that, for me that didn't pick anything up, so I literally poked a hole in through the, the centre of this and then it's full inside of whatever this sticky stuff is. So then these are number eight because when I was taking them apart I ripped a hole in this one so I'm going to start with that. Um, so then you peel back the plastic, look for the number which is kind of hard to see because some of them are very strange looking um, sort of numbers so you take your tray and you pick one up like that and then you just pop it down on the corresponding number and it's quite sticky so you won't have any problem sticking the beads to the actual canvas and sometimes a lot of the beads are upside down so if you give it a shape like this it turns them the right way up and you can get pens that have um, multiple nibs on the end so they're long and thin and then you can apply more than one at a time. Obviously I don't have one of those because none of them have come with that kit and I haven't bought a separate one. So it's just a case of sticking them down just like that until the image is finished and then you can finally peel off the entirety of the backing because I find stuff gets stuck to it if you, if you do that. And that's it really. So once you finish putting all the beads down, you end up with the final picture. And that is this one in this case, which is obviously a wolf. And I would say this took me about maybe a week to ten days of doing it, a couple of hours a day. Um, so just a couple of last tips before I disappear. Sometimes you'll find that the beads come stuck together and if you squash them Sometimes they come apart. This one doesn't look like it's going to do that though. Usually you end up getting more than enough beads in the in the bag to cover the areas that you need. So this one's come apart quite nicely. Of course it doesn't want to come apart now. Oh, and I've dropped it. So yeah, that's kind of par for the course that you end up with these little beads everywhere. And so that's it for this. I'm going to carry on doing a little bit of this now and hopefully it will be finished. This one shouldn't take too long because it is smaller and not the entire page isn't covered in sticky so it's just the sections here. Um, this is all just blank. Anyway, if you want to buy your own um, 5D painting kit, I got mine from Wish and they do offer them on Amazon and eBay um, so and they've got every design under the sun and anything that you could possibly want to, to paint or fill in with plastic beads is available uh, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again before two years from now bye